Welcome to Brett Fest 2023. All right, we're out here on the lake waiting for the Friday morning vintage ride to get going. Uh, we were out quite a bit yesterday, but it was snowing and blowing. There's no way we could get any decent video. Sorry, you're going to kind of get coverage just Friday and Saturday of this year. But uh, we'll walk you around and show you some of the awesome sleds we got going here. Before we get too much further with this video, I want to show you the Grey Pape shirt from my merch shop. Check her out. Looks pretty good, I think. Link is in the description. We're here with Taylor checking out his awesome XLT. Take a look at this thing. It's the purple people eater. I love it. Taylor, what? tell us about your sled. What do you got done to it? Uh, put SLP slight skis on it. Taylor, talk loud. What? Um, Get back loud. Uh, put the purple headlight cover over on it. Put the purple little sled on it. Uh, put grabs. Wait. You've got me out purple. Yeah. You've got Lonnie out purple. Hey, let me show you this thing, guys. Look at the purple SLPs. Purple peep bleeder windshield. Purple dash bag. Purple dash plates. Purple Team Indy cover. Purple running board guards. Purple vents. Purple vents. Sweet, he's got the XLT vents on there. Holy cow, he's got the purple headlight cover. Lonnie is going to be so jealous when he sees this thing. He's got the purple tail light cover. Oh my gosh. And a purple snow flap. This thing's awesome. It's a 95 XLT just like the gray paper. No, this is what, a 93? No, 94. It's a 94, okay. So uh, this thing is awesome. And uh, thanks for showing it to us, Taylor. Hell yeah. All right, I'm down here on the lake with world famous racer Ben Cassens. Ben, tell me about these cool sleds. Uh, the first one's a 74 PDC clone. It's got TX chassis, TX440 motor, a little bit of port work. Um, all new, new style top load brake case, tank cases. Nice. What about that? What about this other TX77, 79 TXC? Yeah, 77 TX. Um, same thing, 440TX, all new components, basically built as a trail rider. Beautiful, man. Take a look at these. I'm going to give you a quick walk around. Dr. Mario's here. Turbo Tommy. Check these out. Ben is being, uh, ben is, uh, being conservative in his description because these things are lightning fast. I have uh, tried to follow Ben on the trail, and uh, he's a good rider, and these sleds are freaking hot. So uh, these are awesome. Just some of the stuff you see here at Brat Fest. Of course, it's the last Brat Fest, so uh, better get a good look this year. All right, down here in the lake with my buddy Dave, who I've known for years and years and years. And we always ride with Dave and his brother Sean. And uh, for all you guys that complain that we never have Yamahas on the channel, Dave's here to talk about his Yamaha. How's it going? This is a 1978 Exciter 440cc. It's a fan-cooled motor. Fan-cooled 440 78 Exciter. Yes, sir. Nice pipe on there. Factory pipe's good. She's clean, Dave. Yeah, it's all, all factory. Cylinder reed motor, single carb. I can tell you from uh, riding with Dave forever, this thing is super reliable. He just goes and goes. Dave, when uh, we did a 50 mile ride yesterday, no yeah. problem. Yeah. Cool. Pretty much hiccup free, yes. Yep. It was, it was a good time. Cool. We'll on another one today. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing it to us, Dave. No problem.
Hey, I'm here at the Muskie Lodge with my uh, with my new friend Josh, and uh, we just met Josh this weekend. It's his first brat fest. He is the owner of the Muskie Lodge, which is behind the trading post in Springstead. So Josh, what do you think of brat fest? This is awesome, absolutely amazing. And uh, what's it done for your business? Uh, <laughs> yeah, really. I think the crowd in the bar behind us says it all. Leaves me speechless. Josh rides a trailing arm Indy too. What do you got, Josh? Got a '94 Polaris Indy 500 Classic. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. He's got it parked up front. So uh, if you're in the Springstead area, make sure you swing in. It's a very sledder-friendly establishment. All right, another sled on the Brampfest ride. This is Lance from uh, Lance's Repair in Manitowish. If you're up in this area, Mercer area, Springstead, and your ship breaks, you better give Lance a call. Hundreds of vintage sleds for sale. Yep, lots of parts. And check out what he's riding today, 72 Nitro 440. 400. 400. Pretty sweet, huh? Slide suspension under there. Got the Tohatsu with the big giant Makuni on her. <laughs> Super clean sled. Thanks for showing it to us, Lance. Getting ready to leave the Big Muskie Lodge here at the Trading Post. Fair amount of sleds on the ride. I'm here with Derek. You've seen him on last year's Bratfest coverage, but he, uh, he's he got something different. We are not working on that two-motored monstrosity <laughs> this year. What do you got this year, Derek? Uh, we are riding a 70 TX Playmate with a Sax single in it. Um, what size Sax? It is a 293. 293, just yep. an SA? Yep. Sweet. What? Fresh, fresh motor just this weekend. Um, just got done fixing the megaphone. And Hang on, we'll let Lance do whatever Lance is doing here. All right, we can continue on now. So, uh, what's, what were you saying, fresh motor? Uh, yeah, the motor, we just, uh, we blew it up last year at Brapfest riding across the lake, and uh, this is this is all new, pretty much top to bottom, but we tried to not make it look like it's been touched, so. You had me fooled. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it runs pretty good. Getting a little bit of color in the pipe, but I see it's broke again. Got so. a little crackola there. Yep. Yep. That'll happen. The original seat cover is starting to come apart, so but we're riding the snot out of it today. It's what it's for. So. Awesome. Cool sled, Derek. Yeah, thanks. All right, this is our host for the weekend, Craig. <laughs> Craig, what are we experiencing here on the Suzuki? Uh, we're experiencing overheating conditions. That is harsh. That is extremely harsh. I, I've been on many trail rides with this sled, and this is the first that I've seen. She don't like, she start getting hot. She's a good sled. Apparently we need more oil in the gas. <laughs> more oil. Uh, Dennis has got oil. Should we go get some oil for you we to dump in? maybe help it out. Or We're only a half mile from where we're going. If I can get it to where we're going, we'll add a little oil before we bring her back. All right. Maybe a little richer would help her out. Wouldn't hurt. No, it wouldn't hurt. I got plugs in my pocket. Yeah. Cool sled, Craig. It's giving you a view of how many sleds we got in the lineup. You can see quite a few people came out for the Friday ride for Bratfest. Right, I'm here with Jeff, and uh, Jeff brought a couple awesome XLTs. What'd you bring, Jeff? Uh, I got my 93 XLT and uh, the 96. 96? Yeah. That's that's awesome. So that's the high output triple. What does that mean? Bigger carbs? No. Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Really? The Craigslist special. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Sweet, sweet looking sled, though. I love those. So how long have you had these things? Uh, two years. Yeah? Yeah, just had all the shocks rebuilt on that one. It's got a decent track on it. Nice, extra 12, I see. Yeah. This one, the only thing that's different is it's got the Comet clutch on it for all I know. And Yeah? It sounds, it's crazy the sound difference between the 93 and the 96. Yeah. 
I don't know what the difference is. It looks like the same pipe, but... I got no idea. Me either. <laughs> Maybe somebody gutted one of them. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. These are relatively new to me. Well, Boy, cool sleds, Jeff. Thanks for bringing them out. Having a good time. All right, here we're answering the question, and uh, indeed, the one that says high output triple has 38s on it, as you can tell from the video. Pipe looks a little bit different. Can's about the same, but uh, there you go. That, uh, that answers what makes it high output. I assume there's a porting difference, too. Hey Dennis, what did, what did today's adventures bring you on the lake? Well, I was cruising along, just cruising 75 miles an hour. Looking behind me, everyone's behind me, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden, bam! Bam, bam, bam! Right, bam, bam. And then people start passing. And if you look here, there's a whole bunch of fibrous crap. Whoa, what Thank the? Thank God it was just the belt. What the heck? Just the belt. And then. Is your hood unlatched? Yeah, there you go. Bend that tie rod. So luckily, Lonnie came along and... Lonnie had a shitty spare? I had a yeah, really shitty spare. I didn't have a spare. Hey, a shitty but spare you're in luck. I said learn. You're in luck. I've got a shitty spare with me, too. All right, we're so, all good. Yeah, right? So, so a shitty uh, spare is better than no spare. Is, so I'm going to be nice the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. Be nice no, to it. You going to grab... No more full throttle. Let's grab the belt off the TX when we get back. There you go. It's the same belt. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. That there is almost like the trailer of shame. All right, I'm here at Springstead with my buddy Dwayne at Bratfest, and he's brought out a sled called the Wild Thing. Looks like a nice stock 650. Mostly. Well, yeah, you know. what? It's a little hotter than normal, though. Yeah. Well, you know, you got you got to do a little math, a little addition. Well, what's going on under the hood? We better show the people. 
Good Lord. Where did that motor come from, Dwayne? Anoka Ramsey Specialties. No kidding. So that's a Nord motor. No, I thought Nord was out of New York. No. I thought he was out of AR. Is he? I don't know. It could be. I don't know the exact specifics. That's a 1050? 1050. Look at that with the pipes tucked in under the hood. The hood is not even cut to fit the triple pipes on the Wildcat there. She's freaking awesome. You want to pull the rope? Let's give the people a little sound of a, a really big triple. It's still cold. There you got it, folks. These are uh, friends of Nutter Speed Shop that I've been riding with forever, and uh, they have some special stuff. And this one's pretty damn special. I got no idea if you're gonna hear my voice. There's a reason I'm not filming down on the lake today. It's loud. Let me show you. Breakfast is freaking huge! <laughs> Alright, we're here at Breakfast and it's very loud on the lake, but Bruce is giving a donation to the speed shop. This is a bunch, a, of, a bunch of stuff for Brad's Ultra. Spare parts. I felt so bad for that thing he bought. He felt bad for uh, for how rough a show Brad had with that Ultra. Stater, Ultra oh, Stater. Yeah. Stater. Super cool. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. good Lonnie's man. got that. Lonnie, you go right, go right to the Ranger <laughs> with extra that. Heavy oh. triple. Extra <laughs> heavy triple. Extra heavy triple. That's the Brotherhood of Snowmobiling and Bratfest. Thanks, Bruce. Yes. We really Thank appreciate you so much. it. I show you guys on TV. Thank you so much. This is awesome. awesome. We you really appreciate it. it. Watch it you, know. you watch it too? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. This is for you. Don't forget to throw them in. We're all good. You gotta take everything. We'll take it all. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, here's our outro from Bratfest. It's Sunday morning coming down. Sunday morning driving home. <laughs> Sunday morning drive home. So, uh, we had a great weekend. Good times. Really, probably the best brat fest out of the last half dozen, I think. And uh, got a lot of trail miles in. Nothing broke too bad. No, not you know, too bad. Got to fix the kill switch on the uh, Great Babe. Uh, Lonnie, you survived intact, did you not? I did, yeah. Everything everything was still running. Uh, about the only thing that the uh, Purple-headed snow warrior experience with some foul plugs, but other than that, she ran great. Oh yeah, you had the foul plugs, and Dennis blew a belt. Dennis blew a belt. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we never got into the backup sled. The only backup sled we brought for the three of us was Dennis's TX. Dennis rode it around just a little for fun, but uh, it's nice to have not needed a backup sled for once. Yeah, right. <laughs> and nobody and nobody got put on a trailer. Nobody got put on a trailer. <laughs> So uh, with that said, you know, huge thanks to the patrons. You guys are the best. Everybody that's been sending us stuff to the P.O. box, to, uh, you know, everybody that's done PayPal donations. We really appreciate all of you. Everybody else, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, please hit subscribe. And uh, Just we'll want to say uh, thank you to everybody that uh, stopped by to talk to us out there uh, at Brap Fest. We had a... Oh, yeah. Uh, really cool meeting everybody uh, that watches the, the channel. Thank you. We really appreciate you people. Thank you. Absolutely. So uh, we'll see you on the trails. See you on the trails.
trails.